Hey, it's Mr. N, and this video is on transformations, and more specifically, it's going to be on rotations. We're going to do rotations about the origin, which are not too bad, and then we're going to do some about other points. So let's recall what the basics of rotation are. If you rotate 90 degrees, 180, and 270, and we're just going to keep it to these. Now, we can do 50 degrees, 45 degrees, but we have to learn a bit more before we get to that part, and... If I give you something like that, you'll mainly have a figure, and so you'll know those angles, and I'll just say, which point does it become? But if we're doing coordinate points, we're going to stick to the basics, 90, 180, and 270. Of course, we don't do 360, because that just ends up being where it is. So for 90 degrees, we're going to switch the X and Y, as you can see right here, and right there, sorry. We're going to switch the X and Y and put a negative on what that Y value is. For 180 degrees, we take the X and Y point, and we keep them the same, but we just put negatives on each. And then for 270 degrees, we take our X and Y point, and then we switch them, and then put a negative on the X. So this you need to memorize and make sure you understand that, because that's we developed the reasons why in class. So now let's just do some of these problems and see how this works out. For this first one, it says, suppose you had the following points, A, was at 2, negative 3, B, 4, 1, and C is negative 5, negative 2. Rotate each about the origin, 90 degrees, 180, and 270. All right, let's do the 90 degrees ones first. Let's do them right here. So 90 degrees. 90 degrees, I take the point. I'm going to switch the X and Y and take the opposite, so put a negative on the Y. So that means A prime becomes 3, 2. B prime, I switch the X and Y and I put a negative on what was the y, or take the opposite, so that becomes negative 4, 1. C prime, I do the same thing, it becomes 2, negative 5. All right, let's do the next one. The next one says we're going to do them for 180 degrees. 180 degrees, again, I, I keep the x and y the same, but I just put negatives on them. So A prime ends up being at negative 2, 3. B prime ends up being at negative 4, negative 1, and C prime ends up being at 5, 2. All right, now let's do that final one, and that final one we're going to do 270 degrees, so 270 degrees, <clears throat> the process is to switch the X and Y and put a negative on what was the X or take the opposite of that. So A prime will end up at negative 3 this time, negative 2. B prime will end up at 1, negative 4. And C prime will end up at negative 2 and positive 5. So those are our coordinates that we rotated about 90 about the origin. That was the key word, 90 degrees, 180, and 270. So now, what if it wasn't about the origin? Well, what we need to do in this case is we need to break it down into distances from the point that we're rotating about. So suppose we had each of these. Rotate each about, we have points A, B, and C, same as above, but this time about negative 1, 3. So let's go ahead and call this point, point P. I didn't specify it in the problem, but let's call that point P, and we're going to rotate about point P. So let's plot point P. That's at negative 1. One, two, three. There is my point P. Okay. Now, I want to, in this first one, rotate A 90 degrees, then 180, and then 270. So here's what I want to do first. Let's find what A is distance. Let's just do it on the side here. So we're going to say distance from point P to, and let's do A, okay? The X distance is going to be, well, look at what point A is. We can plot it and then determine that. That's at 1, 2, negative 1, 2, 3. There's point A. The X distance is that one. So that's 1, 2, 3. So the X distance is 3. And you can see we're going from negative 1 to 2, so that's a distance of 3. The y distance, so we're finding distances for the x component, and we're going to find the y component. The y component is going to be negative, 
So that y distance will be negative 6 because we went down 6 from p to a. So if you wanted to see it, we went from 3 to negative 3. So that's negative 6. All right. Let's do the same thing from p to b. The x distance, well, we can find it out. I'm going from p, negative 1, to 4. That's a distance of 5. The y distance, I'm going from 3 to 1. That's negative 2. And let's find from the p to c the x distance. And that's going from negative 1 to negative 5. That's a negative 4. So we went back 4. And then from 3 to negative 2, that would be a distance of negative 5. So the y distance is negative 5. So here's what we're going to do. For 90 degrees, let's just do them all on this grid right here. For 90 degrees, I have point A. I'm going to rotate it about point P. So if I drew this line, let's just do it in a lighter color right now. If I drew this, I would have to rotate a 90 degree, and it'd be somewhere right over here. So let's just 90 degrees, and it'll put me somewhere over here. Well, what does it say I do when I do a 90 degree rotation. Let's look at what we do. And it says we're going to switch the x and y and put a negative on the y or take the opposite of it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to switch the distances before we were at the origin. But now we're going to switch the distances. So take a look. This x distance was 3. The y distance was negative 6. So for point A, we had 3 and negative 6, the x and the y. We're going to switch these and put a negative on what was the y. So now the distances will be 6, because it was negative 6, and 3. So the distance from point P, instead of 3, negative 6, it switched, because we did a 90 degree rotation, it switched to B, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 1, 2, 3. So this is my new A prime right there. So take a look at it. If you draw that, there's your 90 degree angle. That's a 90 degree rotation from here to there. So let's do the same thing for B. Now we need to put the coordinate of what A prime is. We can just read it. So the coordinate is going to be 5, 6. So I just read it off the graph. So A prime ended up at 5, 6. Now let's do something similar to B. Well, we know the distance for B, the x distance was 5. So I'm just writing it like this. So if you want me to clarify, let's go, let's write x distance was 5. And the y distance was negative 2. I want to switch these according to my rule. Remember, for x, y, for 90 degrees, we said we're going to switch these and then take the opposite of what the y was. So I'm going to switch these distances. So this becomes 2 and 5 and take the opposite. So it was negative 2 and take the opposite, so I'll end up with 2 and 5. So that means point B was originally at 4, 1, right there. This was point B. We went, instead of going 5 over and negative 2 down, we're going to go 2 over and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up. This is my new B prime. And take a look. If I sketched this like that, this would be a 90 degree rotation. Remember, counterclockwise is positive. So now I can just read this off the grid, and this becomes 1, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 8 is what B prime is. So B prime is at 1, 8. All right, let's do the same thing for the final coordinate, which was C. For C,
I had the point negative 5, negative 2. This was point C down here. Well, we found out what those distances were. From point P, we went back 4 and down 5. So for point C, the x distance was negative 4. The y distance was negative 5. We want to switch these. So this becomes negative 5 up here and negative 4, and then take the opposite. So that gives me a positive 5. So from point P, instead of going back 4 and down 5, I'm going to go across 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, to put me right here at C prime. Now you may wonder, is that really a 90 degree rotation? Let's check it out. Right here, right there. Remember we go counterclockwise in the positive direction, and yes, it did work out. So let's read what the coordinate of C is, and that is at four, negative one. So the coordinate of C prime is at four, negative one. So now we're gonna do the same process for 180 degrees, and we'll do it on this grid over here. So for 180 degrees, I know my distances. We already found what those distances are from point P, which was at negative one, one, two, three. This was point P right here. Let's put it in black to know that that was point P, okay? And so what I wanna do now is, I already know the distances, so for the x, I'm going to, for point A, sorry, let's go A, we knew the distance was 3, I'm just listing it in negative 6 for the x and the y. So now, what do we do when we have 180 degrees? Well, we look at our rules above, and it says to keep the x and y the same, right here, but we just put negatives on it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put negatives. So let's go ahead and w write down what the new distances would be. Remember, it's not a coordinate. These are distances. The new distances would be negative 3, positive 6. So let's look at if, if this makes sense. We have point A, which was at 2, negative 3, and A prime. Now, this distance, remember, was 3, and 6, so now I'm going to have to go, just think of logically what it would be. I'd have to go backwards 3 and up 6, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going backwards 3, 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So to get this rotation the other way, that's what I had to do, and that's what I did. I, I flipped them, or actually I just put the, took the opposites of the x and y. So this is where my A prime is, and now I can read the coordinate to give the correct answer. The coordinate's going to be at negative 4, 9. So A prime, and we'll list it right here. We'll list all these points right here. A prime will be at negative 4, 9. Okay, B, my distances were 5 and negative 2. I'm looking up here what my B distances are. Now I just want to take the opposites of these. That's how I rotate 180. So instead of going 5 and 2 for the for B, let's go ahead and I'll plot it for you. B is at 4, 1, which would put us right here. Oops, let's do this in red. Which would put us right here. This is B. And now I want to go from here. I went a distance in the x of 5 and then down to, I want to go the other way. So negative 5 and up to, so from point P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to, that puts me right there. There's where my new B prime is. And let's go ahead and read that coordinate. That coordinate's at negative 6, 5. So B prime is at negative 6, 5. And finally, let's do the C coordinate. And the C coordinate was at negative 5, negative 2. So 1, negative 5, negative 2 right there. This, this was my C coordinate. So C, we said we had a distance right here of negative 4 and negative 5. 
in the x and y. So I want to take the opposites of those, so 4 and 5. So from point P, I'm going to go 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right there is going to be my C prime point, and I can read that, and that's going to be at 3, comma, 8. So over 3 from the origin, over 3, up 8. So now I'm reading the actual coordinate, 3, 8. So those are the new coordinates after a 180-degree rotation. All right, the next one is 270. And don't forget, for 270, we switch them, but then put a negative on the x. So let's move this up here. Let's take a look again. We switch them and put a negative on the x. All right, so let's go ahead and plot these points and finish this problem out. So for this last one, this is point P, which is at negative 1, 1, 2, 3. This is point P. And we've got distances. We've already determined what our distances was. So for A, remember for 200, we're doing 270 degrees now. For A, my distance was 3 and negative 6. So I want to switch these and then put a negative on that 3. So that became from point P, I'm going to go back 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then I'm going to go down 3, 1, 2, 3. Right there is my new A prime. So A was originally, remember, at uh, 2, negative 3, so 1, 2, 1, 2, negative 3, right there. So this was my original A, and this is a rotation of 270 degrees, going all the way around to get to there. So the new A value for the prime, which is the rotation, would be negative 7, 0. All right, let's take a look at what B is. B we had determined those distances from up above as 5, negative 2. So the x distance and the y distance was 5, negative 2. So 270, we want to switch those distances. So this becomes negative 2, 5, and take the opposite. So negative 2, negative 5 are my distances from point P. So let's see. That's negative 2. I'm going to go 2 back, and I'm going to go 5 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right there. And that's where my new B prime point is. And I can read this off the grid. And that's at negative 3, negative 2. So B prime is at negative 3, negative 2. All right. Let's do our final one, which is C. If you wanted to plot what B was originally, remember, B was at 4, 1. So 4, 1. Here was B. And yes, that's a 270-degree rotation going that way. All right, let's do the final one, and let's see if we could do it without uh, having to plot the original. So on this one, C, we had determined the distances. Remember, we had determined the distances for C as being right there, negative 4, negative 5. So moving back over here, C, we had those distances of negative 4, the x and the y was negative 5. We want to go ahead and switch these, negative 5, negative 4, and take the opposite of the one which was the x. So now I have distances of negative 5 and positive 4. So from point P, I'm going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's where C prime is going to be. And let's read this on the grid. That's negative 6, positive 7. So negative 6, 7. So C prime ends up being at negative 6, comma, 7. All right. This process is a little difficult to do these rotations. But remember, we're not focusing on the origin anymore when we're rotating about a point. It's our point that we're doing. So we're going to pretend this is the origin find our distances, do what we're supposed to do with the switching or adding opposites to them, and then take that new distance and then determine what the coordinate is. It's kind of rather involved, 
You might have to watch this a couple times to see what I did and to understand it before it sinks in, and you have to practice these. So hopefully this helped, and good luck with rotations, especially those that are not about the origin.